What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Rissa broke Quan down after allegedly entertaining other men. Tea room. <laughs> Girl, let's get into so it. So Rissa and Quan dropped their video yesterday addressing everything that happened. And that's exactly what they did. They addressed the situation, but they didn't explain anything. So they basically stated they're not going to be telling anyone the reason behind the falling out. They're just letting everyone know that they did have a fallout, which we already knew that because they posted it on social media. But everyone noticed that Quan's energy was off the whole video people stated Rissa definitely cheated someone stated he some y'all that man he ain't want her to talk I just feel like he ain't want to be beside her he was disgusted with that girl I'm not gonna lie he was he not feeling her at all omg she definitely, definitely cheated and she cheated another person stated she did something to him he lost his glow he ain't smiling no eye contact every time she touch him he moving he looked dr nick random question are you accepting cash out for your birthday this year friend do i have dreads on the top of my head absolutely <laughs> y'all can start early now if you'd like <laughs> Cash out royalty oak. You know what I'm saying? I want something to eat. I want some sushi. <laughs> Tap in. Drain in real life. Someone else states he looked like he over it. And then there was a part of the video where Rissa stated she loved him. And look how Quan responded back with the I love you. I know how much Quan and I love each other. Like, I love you. Love you too. So much. You guys. Oh my God. I ain't gonna lie, I stopped watching after a while. He did not want to say that. See that, like, I love you. Love you too. So much, and you guys see that. Like I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't really watch them, but she don't give me passionate, compassionate. The whole time she was just trying to say that she didn't, like, sleep with another man or she definitely didn't have a baby with another man. But, um... Love you too. Mm-hmm. He don't love that girl. <laughs> he mad at her. It was never fake. Now they did state as well that they are working on their relationship, so they are not broken up at the moment. Quan did apologize for posting that on social media. That girl said, you can't just break up with me and I, and I not agree to it and it actually happened. We still together. <laughs> without speaking to and he was like first yeah i can't do but that. you guys leave your opinions on that down below do you guys think that they should tell everyone what happened since they already posted everything on social media or is that their business and they have every right not to tell everyone let's move on to this next topic with the taylor girls now you guys know ty is expecting a baby they should just had a baby girl now they posted up a video yesterday that was quickly deleted after a scene didn't get edited out of Ty's gender of her baby being exposed. Uh, oh, they have said that? Yeah, oh girl, I've, I've heard it all. So, mm. They just act like my belly is the prettiest belly every Ty, single world. will you be um, having another child to let them have a sibling or is she gonna be? Oh, uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, but, uh, so now obviously that part wasn't edited out after ty mentioned in that clip edit that part out now wait what your child to let them have a sibling or is she gonna be oh uh, no uh, yeah yeah uh, uh, so now obviously uh, part at all so mm. it is actually like my belly is the pretty ability every time in the world Will you be um, having another child to let them have a sibling, or is she gonna be? Oh, uh, no. Uh, yeah. You gotta edit that out. But uh, so no, obviously. Why y'all keep leaving stuff in there? <laughs> I don't understand. Y'all, them, include myself, have been doing this for a very long time. It's just no way. That part wasn't edited out after Ty mentioned in that clip edit that part out now day show was on snapchat and someone asked who edited that belly cast video i do not edit any of our videos no video did you see me did you see did you see go out on all of my platform i don't edit 
I do not edit. I don't have time to edit. I don't have time to sit there and rewatch a video, go back and look. I don't have time for it. Like, I do so many things, and I don't think y'all understand. Like, buy the editor then. It's starting to become very overwhelming because y'all expect so much from content creators that it's just not even funny. Like, I do not edit. I don't even record half of the videos that are even being posted when i do the content it gets taken away and someone else edits it yes by default maybe i should sit there and take 30 minutes to an hour 45 minutes however many however long the video is watch it but what i gotta understand is a lot of this content has been recorded weeks ago and it takes so long to get the fucking video back. So by the time I get it back, it'd be like, okay, great. I got something to post. Let me post it because I'll be trying to get content out for y'all. But the way it's just like, it's only so much that I can do. It's only so much content that I can watch. I'm uh, I'm also a full-time mom. I don't have time for it. You Hell, if Ty ain't editing, then your surprises is going to be wrong. Your dream screaming in the background. How the fuck do you expect me to sit here and watch an hour long video and I have a whole two year old running around acting crazy, butt booty ball naked, breaking shit, tearing up shit, hungry, every five seconds want to eat. Like, make it make sense. Like, really make it make sense. Break it all the way down. Breastfeeding, pregnant, mom. <laughs> Damn, like, I, it's only so much that I can do. I don't think I understand. Like, the reason that the content is coming out is because of me. If there was, if, 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 if I don't drop it, it won't get uploaded. Y'all won't have no content to watch. So it's only, like, it's a lot of pressure on me. And it's just like, I get it. But I, like, if I had some help, then it'll be different. But I don't have all of that. Like, when I get... Like, you know what I'm saying? I schedule the shoot. Damn, Obama responded too. Do the shoot. Going back and forth with the editors. Sending videos back that's not right. Doing all this shit. Like, and then uploading the video. Titling the video. Then got to hear backlash. Quick, this was never Quick's job. YouTube was never Quick's job. So Quick, this is not her responsibility. Just like it's not Honey Sauce's responsibility. I can give suggestions, but if it's something she just don't want to do, bro, she just don't want to do it. That's just it. That's all. Can't make somebody do some shit they don't want to do. And then it, it, it ain't going to be, it's nothing that's going to be put into it either. Quick, girl, this ain't his job. Ask about some fucking bullshit. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, I do not have time for that. Like, I really don't have time. You talking about the kids. Child, he, he working. He been working too. Y'all know these niggas is not watching these babies. Y'all know that's not happening, bruh. It's not happening. I think we need to accept that as a community. For that. Like, it's getting to the point where I'm about to just stop with all this fucking YouTube shit all together because y'all making y'all not making the content fun no more. Like, it's becoming like it's a job. I don't work for no fucking body but my damn self. So, y'all are, are, are dragging out a situation that is just like... At this point it is what the fuck it is it's only so much i can do like it's literally only so much i can do like i'm not okay she don't have to keep saying that i don't have the time to do all of that that corey cheated on her with now carmen didn't mention a name now but she did state that she is going to be exposing that information very soon but now like it's honestly somebody that i don't know what no more could care less about Man, man, man. Y'all gotta be careful. Y'all call friends. Definitely not Ali. I just marry y'all, chill. That's why. Well, the problem is we don't know who you're talking about. We just don't know. That's why I say I love just to react to the song where I can just explain like the line. Mm -hmm. I love now Corey's girlfriend Maddie recently shared that he did get her name tatted as well if you guys didn't know Maddie has Corey's name tattooed already now people felt like Maddie was throwing some shade at Carmen when she posted on Instagram a man only treats you the way that you allow him you know you know that me getting out the car open door for you is so extra you can open the door to get out now I can open it for you when you get in. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, I do believe that you teach a man how to treat you. The reason why I say that is because different men come from different backgrounds, for one. But two, 
different men deal, deal with different type of women. They don't make another woman less than the other, but different women require different shit. Okay. Then it's a waste of time. And so that's how I see it. Like I'm like the girl that likes inside of the sidewalk. I like I like roses every single week. All okay. People go into relationships assuming that this person that they're with is supposed to have them all figured out. How about we just communicate our wants, needs, and desires like adults, set your expectations, etc., from the go, from the get, so that you're not disappointed when this person doesn't show up. I'd rather know from the beginning that you're capable of or uncapable of doing what I ask of you than sitting around hoping that one day you just get it. So just make this. Oh, I was supposed to say you just opened the door for you by yourself. The whole long story short, <laughs> a man will only do what you allow. If you allow a nigga to bullshit you, ladies. He gonna bullshit you, point blank, period. Cause a nigga gonna try. These little niggas, they gonna try that shit. But you- so y'all, let me let me tell y'all something. It is a possibility for somebody to get with another person and they not treat them the way they treated somebody else. Literally, I think we all should know that from experience. But it's because she's correct on the training part, <clears throat> which I feel like is just. I mean, come on, you do have to train a person to love you, though, y'all. That that's a thing. Um, and they could potentially stay together forever. You know what I'm saying? And he might get, you know, into this relationship and realize, damn, I was a piece of shit, but maybe he won't. Um, long as he the hell away from Carmen, I don't care. You gotta know yourself. You gotta have self-love. You gotta have self-worth. You gotta have standards that you set that you don't budge on for nothing. For nothing. And if a nigga violate it, even in the slightest bit, Guess what, baby girl? You get up, you pack your shit, and you leave. You want to know why? Because it's another, another nigga that will. Do I got it exactly how you want it? Yeah. All right, cool. Lord hey, guys. God. CJ and I are cooking. And remember, right now, he first of all, he ain't broke. He's deciding to do what he wants to do with certain things, but he's not broke. But also, um, he need her right now. This nigga got two major um payment paybacks he got to give to um to a complex like and then ridiculous amounts of money like 16,000 for the last house um and it's a judgment it's civil he ain't going to go to jail for it but it's still if he want to get a crib it's going to be a lot that's all I'm saying it's going to be a lot and it's going to be a lot of money to pay so he gonna play his cards right right now. And today we're gonna make roasted potatoes, chicken, and broccoli. Nah, hell no. Chris and Parker is not the same. Chris and Parker is not the same. Parker was abusive as well. So two abusive people, and this is alleged, but two abusive people. Come on now, they ain't gonna work. But he he met his match. But he still it still didn't go the way it. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. <laughs> and we're doing like a whole like little monk bank kind of vibe. So that's why he's cooking with me. Putting him to work. Yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.